Air transport provides travel opportunities for business and leisure over long distances at low prices. Currently, more than 2.3 billion passengers travel each year through the air. To put that in perspective, it's equivalent to transporting the entire population of the world every three years. With air travel growing some 5% each year, this creates quite a challenge to the air transport sector. The capacity problem at airports and in the sky needs to be solved without endangering engineering safety. With oil resources depleting, there is an additional motivation for using alternative fuels in aviation. How can we maintain 30 to 40 years from now when petroleum is perhaps no longer economically viable? Although the impact by aviation on global warming is still small, the steady increase in the demand for air travel calls for radical action. Therefore, the ACARE goals for 2050 have been set to cut CO2 emissions, NOx emissions and noise substantially. And this despite the steady growth in demand of 5% per year. A number of highly qualified organisations have responded to the challenge. Together they have started the AHEAD project, co-funded by the European Commission. The AHEAD team is investigating the feasibility of an unconventional aircraft powered by innovative engines. The new aircraft configuration will ensure very efficient flight with low fuel consumption and low emissions. The aircraft will use two types of fuel, cryogenic fuels like liquefied natural gas and liquid hydrogen, and biofuel. The unique engine will be able to run on both types of fuels. The first combustion chamber will use hydrogen or natural gas, while the second combustion chamber will use biofuel. The hot exhaust gases from the first combustion chamber will enable flameless combustion in the second combustor. This will not only ensure very low levels of CO2, but also of NOx. It is expected that CO2 and NOx emissions from this engine will be reduced by more than 60% compared to current aircraft. The AHEAD team is investigating the effect of different fuels on contrails and cloud formation. Current results suggest that the effect of increased water vapour due to the use of cryogenic fuels can be significant. Currently, the AHEAD team is looking into optimising the mission for reducing the overall impact of this novel multi-fuel blended wing body on global warming. The results of the preliminary studies are extremely promising. However, further research is needed into the detailed design of the aircraft and the engines to ensure that this aircraft will be available by 2050 and that the aviation sector will be able to meet the extreme targets it has set. The AHEAD multi-fuel blended wing body aircraft will revolutionize aviation as we know it today.